Nice truck. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Reno and Doc Show. That's Reno. What's up? And after this episode, it's probably going to be a long time hey, before I he took one of them drugs. So you don't know who's going to stop by. Well, judging by the picture in the truck, I'm guessing my old boss. You know what, Reno? I'm not going to lie to you. So let's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> let's welcome in here, although I got a bad, bad feeling that this is not going to go over very well. Reno's old boss from Texas when he used to work at a cement truck. What was the name of it again? Golden Spread Ready Mix. Golden Spread Ready Mix. It's Reno's old boss, Kyle. I don't know why he's here. Honestly, he he Hello. he'd been he had been phoning, emailing, saying he hey, wants to be on the no, show. No, don't, don't ignore me. I'm, I'm Kyle. I'm Kyle Snail. <laughs> Wait, what? What was that last name? Snail. Kyle Snail. Snail. Yeah, don't ignore me. Like stay as as a, as in don't as in don't, the, don't ignore me when I'm talking. You let you let me talk. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, shut up, Kyle, for a few minutes. Oh God, it's you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Should be cleaning one of them trucks. Shut the fuck up. Kyle, he's here in Arkansas with me. He's not back in Texas. Look at that truck on that picture on that truck. That's clean. That's something you wouldn't done. You wouldn't even kept it that clean. Shut up. We're we'll talking about your dad, how he cheated on your mama with that that secretary. Say right, guys. I'm talking about my fucking dad like that. You're fired. You're fired. I work for you, motherfucker. Talking about my family. My daddy got more pussy than me. How he's even fucking my wife. What? I still catch you fucking my wife. Kyle, that's terrible, dude. I think it's funny as hell. Shut up, you're fired! You better go clean a truck! Shut up, you're fired! Shut the fuck up. What, what, did you drive down here in one of those cement trucks, Kyle? Is that how you got here? No, I can't drive down a cement truck. He'd get filthy and never clean it. <laughs> Is any of this true right now? <laughs> this is the kind of asshole I had to put up with all the fucking time. Yeah. His dad, but his dad did did mess around with Chuck and Terry. Boy, he got some pussy. I mean, I bet he loves your wife's pussy. Shut the fuck up! Stop it! Don't be talking! Not there! Stop it! 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 Well, I temper fit. Kyle, calm down, dude. It's it's okay. Look. it. Look. I'll, Reno. Don't talk no I more. I about the dad being in the shower saying, Stop! Stop mixing my fucking dad! God damn it! He had my wife to shower last night, you motherfucker! You're fired! You're fired! Reno! <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's not bring any more of that up, okay? Personally, I think it's funny as hell. We have to be nice to our guests! Oh, I don't. Kyle, what is the real reason you're here for? Well, I was just coming to be on here because I want to let everybody know about what it's like to work for Thumb Spread Ready Mixing. Okay, all right. It's a wonderful job. Cool, okay. I'm a good boss. Fucking liar. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Stop fucking shit! But... You work for going to spread, you make good money. Goddamn last morning, fuck. Yeah, what are you gonna pick up me? What the fuck? Huh? Huh? Hey, hey, you can make plenty of money and I'm leaving because he's jerking. I- I'm getting out of here. Bye. Fuck. Well, I guess he's leaving. Hey, it's up! Because <laughs> he hasn't quite left yet. There he goes. He finally went out the door. All right. Man. All right. Uh, so yeah, Reno, uh, what did you think? Uh, look, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm sorry I brought him here, man. Same old whiny bitch he's always he, been. He kept, he kept messaging me, texting me, emailing. It, it just didn't stop. Somehow he found out, you know, uh, hey, you know, I fate. Mean, if he wanted to travel all the way down here just to be on the Reno dog show, that's fine. Yeah, he I get, want to get complete idiot. He would he would message me, you know, here on YouTube too. Somehow he found the videos and he messaged he found a way to message me. He says, I want to come down there and confront Reno about everything he's been saying about me in, in previous videos. And he says, I want to do something about this. But I cannot believe, honestly, for the life of me, he would act like such a whiny little baby about it. I told you he acted like that. See, I thought maybe I thought maybe for a minute 
Maybe he was going to come down here, apologize, maybe offer you a job really? to go back. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, don't, I hardly know the guy. He's he, 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 Well, we've seen how the whiny little bitch is. Yeah. And yes, that We're definitely, truck you're looking at, that's, that's kind of what I've drove, driven before. He's definitely on the list of never going to return guests, so... That's yes, Damn, we poked in the door. Come on, Kyle, get out of here, man. We, good money! <laughs> Well, well, if it was such good money, what? Stop going already! <laughs> if it was such Quit good... Quit <laughs> Well, I guess you slammed the door. All right. Fine by us. D- damn you. Threw a damn rock at our building. Oh, what a jerk. Um, anyway, uh... My I'm, damn, it's good person! <laughs> I mean, we were going to try and let him come I on here. I give him <laughs> Do we even care anymore at this point? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, you know, I I was like, okay, come on here, promote your business, maybe see if you can get promote other people to. What do you want to do is promote that mouth he is. Well, probably. Anyway, so yeah, he's definitely on the list of never going to return uh, guests that we've had before. He's just, yeah, I'm going to put him on the list for sure tonight. And it's time to answer a few of your emails real quick. And one of them comes from Henry in North Carolina. And Henry says, and wants to ask Reno, are you, are you upset over the allegations of your team with, the, uh, with that one Giants player over the uh, homophobe references? That's a good I question. I think that's just a bunch of bullshit. It's dumbass shit. But, uh, you know, it's, it, it's just, it goes to show you that even in the NFL, you got controversy and crap, you know, and the yeah. NFL is nowadays even getting ridiculous, you know, where they're charging the man $26,000 over a stupid fucking comment. And it's like, really? I mean, this is how low we're getting. You know, so I have to say, it's, it, it to me is bullshit, but what can you do? Okay, this one comes to us from Leon in Alabama, and Leon says... Love the show, guys. Who has been so far your worst guest? You just heard him. <laughs> Definitely, Leon. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably WC. Probably. He was on the previous episode. You guys might have uh, heard that one. Uh, oh, God. It's from Kyle. Stop talking about my daddy. Stop talking about my daddy. I can't help it. He gets more than I do. And please stop talking about my daddy. You're fired. You're fired. You're fi- Who's he firing? I have no idea. All right, we got an email here from Waveland, Arkansas. Oh, cool deal. All right. I don't know this name. Uh, it's a uh, cool man is what it says. Cool man. Cool man. Okay. All right. Cool. And the question, is that that whiny little bitch <laughs> ever going to be back on your show? No. <laughs> we pray not. We pray he will no, not no, be. No, no, no. I think we will have WC on back before before we have him and back on. that's even brave. <laughs> All right, another email coming in to us from Kenny in in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Cool. All right, Kenny, what's going on, my man? Thanks for listening, as always. And Kenny says, how much would you pay me to kill your boss, Kyle? <laughs> Nothing, because he's just a pain in the ass pansy. He'll kill himself. I'm sure Reno will probably give you a pack of cigarettes if you split them with him. <laughs> All right, one I'll final. I'll give you one cigarette. <laughs> One cigarette of a tire pack. You're 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 such a good person there, Reno. I know though. And this last one comes to us from Marcus in Michigan, and Marcus wants to know seriously what's up with Kyle. <laughs> He's a whiny little bitch. That's as simple as that. A redheaded moron who lives off daddy's money. So he's not a redheaded stepchild. So if he was beaten, he's nah, gonna be ready like a silver spoon redhead. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, our next one, we're going to be taking a trip to Iowa against my wishes. <laughs> well, we it's not really my thing either. I mean, but the produce, the guys that's been helping us do all this have said, well, you know, there's been a request asking us to go to go to Iowa. And there's some kind of guest wants to be on there, but he wants us to come there. And they're like, well, you know, this would be good for the... Good for the show, Si. Are so we okay? So we said, they're, right. they're not saying who it is, but somebody's inviting us to their, their little town, Iowa, and we're going to head there. I think God knows more than what he's saying, but anyway. We'll see when it happens. <laughs> so hope you guys will tune in for the next episode of the Reno and Doc Show. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below. And as 
always, much appreciated for your support. We'll see you guys next time. Peace for, out. We're out of here. We'll see you guys later. All right. Ladies. And Kyle, get out of here. Goodbye. He's, he's, he's mouthing something. I don't know. I can't hear anymore. We turn, we turn, put the soundproof on. Forge you? What's forge you? I don't get it. Judge, oh, judge oh. by that middle finger, I think it means a little more than that. Oh, okay. All right. I'm calling the cops. Cool.